A movie that opens up with InSync's Bye 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 can go too wrong. And the dog's like, oh, he's a good man, I can tell by his nice energy. Your persona non grata. Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and Red Rocket is the newest film by indie darling Sean Baker. For me it was my third movie of his, after the beautiful, heartfelt and very fresh and authentic last ones Tangerine and the Florida Project. Baker has an unmistakable style that starts with his unconventional stories and characters, pretty much always people who live on the outskirts of society, and continues with his simultaneously tender and crass portrayals. He has a very empathetic eye for his flawed characters, and his movies have this wonderful balance of humor and drama. They feel real, down to earth, give you this unglamorous picture of America, and though they have very dark elements in them, they are still somehow so delightful to watch. And Red Rocket certainly is as well. So far it has only been shown at film festivals and it will be released in the United States in December and hopefully elsewhere soon after. I had the chance to watch it at this year's Vienna International Film Festival where it easily marked one of my absolute highlights. Red Rocket tells the story of Mikey Saber, a washed up middle aged former porn star who returns to his small Texas hometown. For the next a little bit over two hours we won't part his side for even one scene. Sean Baker and lead actor Simon Rex have created a character that's simply magnetic. A character who's completely self-absorbed, utterly full of himself, a total narcissist and opportunist who doesn't care for anyone but himself and who will use everyone around him to his benefit. And yet we somehow totally love him. His arrogance, his joy, his bullshitting, his schemes, all of it is so out in the open that it almost appears to be quite harmless. When he is telling his estranged wife Lexi and his mother-in-law Lil that he only needs a place to stay for a few days, it's also transparent. And when he's later explaining that he's only riding a far too small women's bike because his Camaro is still in Hollywood, it's obvious that he can't even fool a 17 year old girl. Yet the people around him and we as the audience still kind of fall for him anyhow. For some strange reason we are kind of rooting for him and at the same time we of course know that we definitely shouldn't. But he's our protagonist and the protagonist doesn't need to be good or morally right. But Mikey has such a contagious drive, so much sleazy charm. He's a hustler, he's a loser, but there's also something magical and completely unapologetic about him. And even more than in his last films, Sean Baker has brought a lot of humor to this one. Mikey is such a comedic figure and there's something funny about every fiber of his being. About the way he talks, which is mostly bragging, the way he moves his face and body. It's a character you can't take your eyes off. He's a joke and yet you can also kind of admire his determination and survival instinct, even if he really doesn't care if he's hurting other people. But Sean Baker succeeds in still keeping some humanity alive and the way the movie makes us feel all these contradicting feelings makes this such an absorbing journey. The real story or a crucial ignition point in the story kicks in when Mikey is laying his eyes on the only 17 year old donut shop employee Strawberry. And you wonder if he's maybe really feeling something for her, I mean besides the obvious lust, or if he only sees her as his chance to score again in the porn industry. I mean he is a narcissist and probably not even capable of truly caring for someone else. A man in his late 40s and a 17 year old is certainly troubling and the movie keeps challenging our perception of Mikey. But it also does a good amount of portraying Strawberry as this wild, nymphomaniac teenager who herself is taking what she likes. Now that doesn't excuse the grooming and manipulation by a far older man, but she has agency as well and it helps to preserve the film's upbeat, almost satirical tone. Now I should probably mention again that it's not just the way the character of Mikey is written and how Baker leads him through the story, but a huge part of the film's magnetic energy comes down to lead actor Simon Rex being absolutely sensational in the role. Rex had a rather peculiar career so far as an actor, rapper, comedian, MTV VJ and also as a performer in solo masturbation scenes for some porn films. So he's certainly able to bring a lot of his own background to the role and he's completely committed to the character of Mikey and it really shows. But it's not just Simon Rex who is amazing. Sean Baker is known for his talent to find these completely unknown, fascinating and very natural faces for his films. Non-professional actors who give his world something very real and grounded. 
B. Susanna Sun as Strawberry, Brenda Dice as the mother-in-law Lil, Ethan Darborn as the neighbor Lonnie or Brittany Rodriguez as the hilarious drug dealer June. Baker populates his world with these fresh and interesting faces. Faces that at the same time look like they have led a difficult and sometimes tragic life. And again, he's able to find humor and drama alike. There's something very funny about this rural southern setting, but it doesn't feel as if he's exposing these people and has always this passionate, empathetic touch to it. The cinematography with its grainy 60mm film look, especially in the many, sometimes extreme close-ups and the fast pace really suck you into it and makes this a very pleasant and nice experience even with this grass subject matter of a former porn star who is grooming a teenager. Baker also does without music and the dialogue and ambient sounds are enough to transport you to this place. But then he also does use music at very few distinct moments, which brings me back to the opening of this review. InSync's Bye 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 is kind of the anthem of this movie and it only adds to the film's unique appeal and nature. If there's something to criticize, I would say that the movie could have been maybe a little bit shorter and some things come a little bit too easy for our protagonist. But then again, maybe that's also kind of the charm and point and some people just do fall on their feet again and again even in a state of losing. So in German I'd say Red Rocket ist die Mikey Saber bzw. Simon Rex Show. Sean Baker schenkt uns einen verdammt magnetischen Charakter und einen echt tollen, humorvollen, aber auch menschlichen Film. I give Red Rocket 8 out of 10. It's more like 8.2, but I don't do that. Life's sweet, Sophie. Life is sweet. Alright, that's it like always. Comment below and let me know what you think about Red Rocket. Are you familiar with Sean Baker? If so, what's your favorite one of his films? And also, what is your favorite boy band song? You can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram and Letterboxd and also on Patreon simply at the Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like and make sure you hit that bell for all I have to tell.